Um, I felt it was really important for investors to understand the uh, pros and cons of a monthly full stock advisor, especially when you compare that service with uh, Profits Unlimited, Stocks Earnings, CNBC Pro, and Dividend.com. So in today's conversation, what I really want to do, I want to do a quick compare and contrast between Motley Fool and those four services, Profits Unlimited, Stock Earnings, CNBC Pro, and Dividends.com. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sort of Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you're all doing fantastic. I'm just doing marvelous, if you ever ask me. If you are doing as splendid as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. In today's conversation, I want to compare and contrast Monthly Full Stock Advisor, Banyan Hills Profits Unlimited, Stock Earnings, CNBC Pro, and Dividends.com. What's very important is that if you are an investor out there, whether you are a newbie or a seasoned investor, you understand that information is an essential tool in the stock market. And not just in the stock market, when you go into other markets, the bond market, the alternative markets, the options market, information is very important. So it makes sense to pay attention to the source of that information. So if you have a well-presented, useful information, then you can make better investment decisions, right? This is as logic as one plus one equals two is. And prior to the internet, access to valuable stock market research was kind of expensive if you really think about it. And it was very convoluted and difficult to use if you're not working in finance or a wealthy day trader, or if you, had, if you didn't have a PhD in quantitative finance. Nowadays, thank God, we have a constellation of services. And we have a plethora of uh, products and the services that help us understand how to uh, how the stock market works what kind of uh, investment decisions we need to make how to actually decipher the stock market so in today's conversation what I want to say what I want to do is that I just want to tell you I just want to lay the foundation of today's conversation when you pick between monthly full stock advisor profits unlimited stock earnings CNBC pro and dividends.com whatever service you pick Make sure you think about three things, the investing strategy, the stock research process, and the market research process. Those are the, this trifecta will help you make a fundamental decision to help you move forward. Before I actually do the review, please check out this short video. It will really acquaint you with our methodology when it comes to uh, evaluating, categorizing, and reviewing stock services on this show. Check this out. All right. I first want to talk about profits unlimited. When you talk, when you think about profits unlimited, I quick I want you to think about the one of the best newsletters to pick stocks, the one that allows you to pick stocks. And when you think about profits unlimited, I want you to think about value, credibility, and returns. And the right stock picking newsletter can make a world of difference when it comes to trading and trading strategy. And profits unlimited from uh, Banyan Hill Publishing. It's actually a stock picking newsletter designed to find the most explosive growth stocks. I, I want to emphasize that explosive like they are really thinking about they are giving you um, stocks that have huge growth potential. And this newsletter is edited by former hedge fund manager Paul Mampilli and provides stock picks once a month. Additionally, with Profits Unlimited, users also get ongoing access to the newsletters, portfolio and weekly market updates. So if you need a, a newsletter service for your trading, 
then you might want to check them out. They're, they're kind of a cool, they're cool. And uh, one thing I also want to say is that this is a stock, this is a, a newsletter that kind of covers uh, the whole nine years. In other words, their uh, coverage, their coverage uh, scope is kind of wide. What about pricing here? You can see on the screen right now, we have uh, profits unlimited cost of $47 per year for access to the digital edition or $129 per year for both the digital and print editions of the newsletter. So it's all about you. Are, are you more a digital investor or you're kind of like you like to fill the paper in your hands like you know really read have some cup of coffee or tea or vodka right <laughs> and really sort of uh read news about the market what kind of investor you are you so it's really there 47 dollars or 129 there is also a premium package that costs 79 dollars for the first year you hear that 79 and 199 dollars for subsequent years and this includes the digital and print editions of profits unlimited plus several special reports from Banyan Hill. And uh, just so you know, uh, Paul Manpil is, is a legend. I mean, he's the editor-in-chief of Profits Unlimited, but he's a legend. He's a former hedge fund manager with over 30 years on Wall Street. Great guy, smart guy. And uh, one of the funds that Manpil oversaw back in the days grew from $1.3 billion to $5.8 billion in just a few years. And he was named one of the best hedge fund managers in the world by Barron's, okay? So you have some kind of depth and breadth of expertise there. This is not a. This is not somebody who's just. Uh, this is not a kid on the block. He's been around. He's seen stuff. And uh, so, what are the profits unlimited um, features? W new issues of the profits unlimited newsletter are issued once per month, and each new issue contains one stock idea, which is usually covered several pages in detail. So we're showing you right now the the screen uh, shot here. And Manpili and his team they do a great job of outlining why a stock has potential without getting over overly technical and he brings in details like revenue growth but largely focuses on the potential market and disruptiveness of a company key features in explosive growth stocks and you also have alerts and updates and and sometimes from time to time they have a special reports also and let me kind of talk to you about other things you need to know about profits unlimited when we were doing our research we really love and we love they have key differentiators, like the kind of uh, elements that set them apart from the competition. For example, Profits Unlimited has a lot in common with other stock picking newsletters, and particularly newsletters like the Monthly Fool Stock Advisor. I'll speak about that later on. And um, so the Monthly Fool Stock Advisor, as you know, they also focus the, on uh, high growth stocks, aka explosive stocks, right? And one thing we love, one thing we've seen in terms of similarity is that um, the two services, that is uh, Profits Unlimited and uh, the Monthly Full Stock Advisor, they actually recommend, their recommendations are kind of similar. You know, at some point we thought they were working for the same company, but they're not. It's just that, you know, great minds think alike. And so the cool thing here is that if you can afford both Profits Unlimited and Stock Advisor, they're very complimentary, then you can just go ahead and uh, use that. If you have to choose one service, I think um, it, it really depends on your, the one that you choose will depend on your investing style. Did you hear that? Investing style. In other words, are you risk averse? Are you a risk taker? Are you neutral? What's your age? What's your financial situation? What kind of, uh, what, what do you find yourself on the risk spectrum? What are the pros and cons of a profits unlimited? Pros, inexpensive digital subscription. 47 bucks, folks. 47 bucks. Think about that. For a year, that's like what that's uh, 47 divided by 12 that's like four less than four dollars a, a month and uh, another another positive criterion excellent performance since 2016 losses are typically less than 20 percent weekly portfolio updates by video and transcript includes access to special reports about emerging tech what about the cons here weekly updates are long and only one stock pick per month now if you are like me or a lot of folks in, in our team you are just more of the long-term investor, then you really don't mind having one pick per month, right? Because then you have all the time to analyze, you have all the time to decipher, to look at the pros and cons of the stock that's been proposed to you before making a decision. Now, of course, if you are a day trader or a swing trader, guess what? This won't work for you because if you're getting only one month, uh, one pick a month, <laughs> this is just, this is just like, it's uh, peanuts, quote unquote peanuts, right? So you, you, this is really for the investor who has a medium to long-term perspective here. Second service here, let's talk about stockearnings.com. And uh, we, we love the fact that, I mean, we have actually analyzed this service through several angles. 
ease of use, quality, value, trade ideas. We love it. Yeah, let's just say that it, it's just fantastic. If you're looking for, if you're looking to use earnings announcements to help make your decisions, StackEarnings.com is a trading service designed to help you profit off of uh, earnings announcements, aka you are a day trader or a swing trader. Because if you're a long-term investor, you don't care about the uh, earnings announcements. You're thinking 10 years from now, 20 years from now, five years from now, right? So if you're a day trader, you want to really listen right now to st what Stock Earnings has to offer. So with Stock Earnings, you get access to option strategies, trade ideas, data on past earnings related volatility, and more. It also includes an earnings calendar, a screener, and I'm telling you, the screener, fantastic. We tested it. It was just great. They even have a built-in watch list and that their built-in watch list, great. You really need to try them out. And so the question is, the, uh, the, it, what do you need the service for? You can use it for a lot of things. Now, it's going to cost you a little bit of money though. The platform tracks upcoming earnings and uses an algorithm to predict post earnings moves. So you get access to trade ideas and option strategies plus data on past earnings related volatility for US stocks, US stocks. Okay. What about pricing here? And we're showing this to you right now on the screen. You can actually preview stock earnings data and use a limited version of the upcoming earnings screener for free. However, you'll need a premium subscription to unlock trade ideas and predicted price movements and to receive email alerts. So a premium subscription, as we were showing this to you right now on the screen, costs $97 per month, $239 per quarter, or $468 per year. And you can try out the premium service for 30 days with a money back guarantee. And so it really depends. So now, and the cool thing here is that they do run promotions from time to time. So right now, as of the date of this show, they have uh, the pro a promo, as you can see on the screen, they have uh, only $39 per month. So from $97, they bring it to uh, $39 and they give you several bonuses. So free bonus number one, bonus number two, bonus number three. It's just the market employee, but yeah, it, it's kind of cool to, to, to test them out. And I'm showing you right now the stock earnings uh, calendar and screener fantastic tool folks fantastic tool and uh the screener module also enables you to limit your search to a specific stock exchange like the new york stock exchange and nasdaq you can save a uh, custom screens and stock earnings provides a handful of pre-made screens pre-made screens for you to use you can see that on the screen right now and of course they also have historical earnings data and upcoming earnings data trade ideas so the big question is i've given you a constellation of tools a constellation of uh of uh, settings you can use so is the is stock earnings easy to use it's a big question here because for me when we analyze all those uh, stock advisor services it's kind of cool they have a uh, beautiful service uh, beautiful uh, settings uh, beautiful features whatever but is the service user friendly can i use it without applying for a phd in finance at columbia university so what is the ease of use here it is our score on that on that note is a little uh, mixed we're giving uh, stock earnings about seven over ten because the interface is somewhat confusing to navigate so when you sign up you are bombarded with offers for add-on subscriptions in other words upsell right i mean stock advisor also does that though the monthly fool does the same thing they're just trying to make they're just trying to milk you make as much money from co each customer there's nothing wrong with that it's in the industry but to go back to stock earnings even if even after you sign up for a premium subscription, advertisements for this same add-ons show up frequently. So the add-on purchasing pages are integrated into the main stock earnings menu. So it's not really clear what tools you have access to with a premium subscription and which require another stock earnings product. So using the built-in watch list also is not as easy as, as it, it should be. So you need to search for stocks and then add them to your watch list one by one. Whew, think about that one by one instead of simply tapping in a list of ticker symbols to monitor if you're a day trader and you have to actually uh, tap in uh, all the stocks you want to trade to, to you want to trade one by one i don't think this is really the uh how you want to spend your day right you want to spend your day out there analyzing stocks and making and making moves not you know becoming like a, a data input analyst <laughs> you know so what about the stock earnings um differentiator the uh, they actually st this platform stands out for offering volatility data and predictions on post earnings price movements for a massive number of stocks while other services such as earnings whispers and benzinga pro also uh, help identify trading opportunities around earnings announcements stock earnings is uh, one of the few 
platforms to cover thousands of AMAX listed stocks in addition to the NYSE and NASDAQ listed stocks. And uh, what about, uh, so stock earnings is really great for uh, traders who want access to historical data about post earnings volatility for thousands of US stocks. And the service can also be helpful for helping track of, uh, if you wanna keep track of uh, upcoming earnings announcements for stocks that have uh, historically had a uh, high volatility, okay? and. For us, really, to be honest with you, we were really disappointed with stock earnings overall because uh, even though the uh, the pros are, so let me just go to the pros. The pros are good, but the, the cons are a little over the pros in our view. The pros, the screen upcoming earnings by, expect, they have screen upcoming earnings by expected price movements, expected volatility one and seven days post earnings, historical volatility for past 25 quarters, Includes Amex listed stocks, custom watch list with email alerts. The cons, very few visual, visualization tools, little of, offer information about the price directionality, and the platform is difficult to navigate. I'll be right back, right after this, don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous. I'm still having a conversation with you about uh, monthly full profits unlimited stock earnings, CNBC Pro, and Dividends.com. And let's now talk about Dividends.com. When, so when we actually, uh, dividend, Dividends.com is really uh, a research. It's a dividend research and analysis tool. Okay? So you, so you, we actually... Um, if you're if you're interested the way we see it if you're interested in optimizing your dividends then this is a great research site this service is dedicated to dividend analysis and income strategies so with articles for the best dividend stock selections and strategies x dividend dates commentary and company news and more and more you are able to see the whole picture and what we love here is that uh, you have for for example uh, this in our in our view it's kind of cool for a, a specific type of uh, of uh, investors for example if you have retirees or people who are close to their retirement people who are in their 40s or 50s then you might want to take a look here because when we think about dividends we think about what we think about fixed income right we think if you have for example uh, you are engaging in, in a drip dividends reinvestment plan you want to be in the loop of what's really going on and there are a lot of uh, interesting tools in our view that make this dividend.com uh, platform pretty interesting so you have the dividend assistant the doris rating so the Dar doris stands for uh, the dividend Ad advantage rating system doris they have you have uh, dividend strategies dividend capture strategies x dividend calendar risks of dividend investing education and research and dividend stock tools. So what's important here is that when we talk about dividend investing, this is an entire an entire investment topic. So dividend.com does a great job in our view at giving you all the tools and all the analytical resources you need to uh, be a great dividend investors. A dividend investor, let me give you an example. Let me give you a very simple example. When you think about dividend strategies, right? This is one of our favorite sections for ideas and learning new tricks of the trade. If you go on dividend.com, not only does the platform explain very well each type of strategy, but it also provides stocks to select for the, select the, the kind of stocks you need to select to um, implement the strategy from passive monthly income strategies to defensive inflation protection and tax optimization strategies to active and aggressive trading strategies. This section is deeply layered with useful content of course, this is great if you are in that kind of content, of course, right? So let's talk about pricing here, the pricing and uh, fees. So you can see on the screen right here that uh, dividend.com offers two paid membership plans. So actually it's one, but they call it like uh, two, but it's one because uh, the, the free plan, it costs you uh, nothing, but it's really, really it doesn't have any of the most important, in our view, the most important feature. So so the free, you have dividend strategy list, 
dividend stock profiles, news education ebooks, dividend payouts and profile metrics, dividend screener, ex dividend date search. The premium plan is what will cost you $149 per year, billed annually, and they include a lot of stuff. So it includes all the features from um, the free plan. It also has DARS upgrade and downgrades, a watch list with performance trackers. It has uh, news alerts and most watch stocks list with uh, export data capabilities to spreadsheets. So if you are an uh, analytical nerd, if you will, then you might want to love, you might want to upgrade here. And uh, the premium version also includes tools like dividend portfolio and monthly income generator and access to premium dividend articles and uh, annual dividend stock guides. And the cool thing here is that uh, if you go to the premium plan, they do have a 30 day money back guarantee. Of course, you have to put your credit card in. So <laughs> don't feel you don't feel like you're just off the hook. No, they want your credit card. So they want you to be committed here. OK, and um, so dividend.com is uh, who is this kind of uh, platform suited for it? Traditionally, dividend investing has primarily been reserved for retirees, baby boomers and passive investors. While dividend.com caters well to this older demographic, younger and beginner investors are also well suited to establish a foundation early to grow dividend gains. The popularity of robo advisors has helped usher in millennials into the into uh, their segment by uh, you know giving them the tools. And this is what dividend.com does. Even swing traders are getting they're getting you know on, uh, strategies like dividends capture. What are the pros and cons here? Pros. It's easy to remember website, dividend.com. Generous amounts of free content and education just for registering, which is pretty cool. You have Doris Proprietary Metric provides uh, a solid rating score for investors to help anchor their decisions on a stock selection. A constant flow of news, blogs, and articles can also improve the user's knowledge. Nice detailed explanation, examples, and step-by-step -step instructions to implement strategies. A convenient one-stop shop for all things dividend related. What about the cons here? Dividend portfolio investing may become a crowded trade with so many new investors engaging in this endeavor. And uh, with so much good content, it's tempting to jump headfirst into the strategies without knowing the risk factors. I want to talk to you now, folks, about CNBC Pro. Everybody knows the media, CNBC, that's for sure. But uh, our big question is, is this premium subscription worth the cost? I mean. I already have CNBC on my cable cable lineup. Why do I need a CNBC Pro? That was a, one of the big questions that we, we asked within the team before reviewing this service. Now, so we reviewed uh, the value, the quality, the research, and the market news. So are you considering getting your own CNBC Pro subscription? This CNBC Pro is a premium subscription service offered by well-known business network CNBC. Now, with this subscription service, you gain access to live streams of CNBC programming, premium news stories, video clips, and a daily newsletter. So is this service really worth it? Now, the, um, what, are the what, what, what about the price here? One thing I want to say here is that um, if you just watch the regular CNBC, just the regular channel, are you getting enough info to move on, to make a decision? Our, our answer is yes. Now, for some investors they, who want to have, let's say, the, they want to see the whole nine yards, they want to cover the whole gamut, maybe they might want to invest the, uh, the price of $300 per year in acquiring CNBC Pro. So the price in here, you have CNBC Pro will cost $29.99 per month or $2.99 per year. You can sign up for a seven-day free trial to try out the service. And uh, what about the features here? You have CNBC Live TV, what they call Live TV. So this is one of the key features that CNBC Pro offers. So you have actually access to a stream of the network's live decision, uh, live television programming. So you get access to the same stream that U.S. broadcast television viewers see, in addition to the option to view CNBC's programming in Europe and Asia. So that's what you get here. And you have pro stories and videos. So another major selling point of CNBC Pro is that it comes with access to premium news stories and videos. So many of the videos are exclusive interviews with fund managers and analysts, and they range from around five to 10 minutes in length. There are several different verticals for stories, including news, follow the pros, which discusses news around well-known investors and fund managers and invest in trends. And the stories and videos are nice, but in our view, there isn't much differentiation from uh, CNBC.com's free content, really. 
and you also have uh, the daily newsletter so this is something you have to think about and um, in terms of customization and layout CNBC Pro doesn't offer any option for customizing your service so I think it's just not a, a great uh, score there what about platform differentiator I mean what really sets CNBC Pro apart from the competition let's just dig a little deeper here and sort of see what's happening here one thing I want to see is that um, CNBC Pro stories don't get me wrong though don't do not I'm not trying to put them down because this is a great service they have a great talent but one thing I want to say is that CNBC's pro stories and videos do offer interviews, in-depth interviews with CEOs, hedge fund managers, and other top investors. And the stories also include analysis from professional business reporters, which isn't always the case for other market news services. And so what type of trader is CNBC Pro best for? It's actually best for short and medium term investors who don't already have access to a CNBC live stream through another service. And the exclusive news stories, videos, and daily newsletter are nice, but they're un enough on their own to justify the $300 per year price tag if you already have CNBC's television programming, in our view. In any case, most of CNBC's content focuses on um, medium-term market trends, so it's best suited for active investors who are willing to put, it, to put in their own research. What are the pros and cons here? Uh, the pros include live stream of CNBC broadcast programming, live stream of CNBC coverage in Europe and Asia, exclusive news stories, interviews with fund managers and analysts, daily newsletter highlights that highlights the top news, expensive, so those are the pros, the cons, expensive annual subscription, little value if you already have a CNBC stream. This is really true. If you already have CNBC's television service, there are other similar but distinct services that could be good alternatives to CNBC Pro. Day traders, for example, can get access to breaking news more quickly using a service like Benzinga or Trade the News. Medium and long-term investors could supplement CNBC's broad stroke anal broad strokes analysis using a market news and analysis service like Seeking Alpha or a market beat or a stock picking service like Monthly Full Stock Advisor. Speaking of Monthly Full Stock Advisor, let's just uh, dig a little deeper here. But before I actually close this part, this uh, section, let me just say that in general, I think I've said that before, but CNBC Pro is a great service. We just believe that they just need to uh, maybe realign the service, realign the offer. Because right now, we have seen some kind of redundancy here in terms of uh, what they are offering, and uh, the positioning is not done correctly. So consumers like us, when we were investors rather, might be a little confused in terms of how are they really differentiating the CNBC Pro service versus the regular stream that people have on their cable channel. So CNBC Pro, the team, this is something you have to think about. Let me now talk about Monthly Full Stock Advisor. We have covered this service in another show, but I just want to quickly uh, go through it here. Monthly Full Stock Advisor, it's, a, it's also a, a subscription-based service, and it gives you about two to three stocks, stock picks a month, okay? And uh, every stock pick will come with an in-depth analysis about the pros and cons, the why, the whatnots, the, the when, the why. They, they give you the whole nine yards and they tell you why the monthly full uh, chose that stock and why you should invest in it. And, uh, and it, so you, you sign up, you, got, you have to go to the uh, stock advisor page, you click join now and we're showing this to you on the screen. And from there, you just uh, put in your basic, some kind of basic information and your membership includes a 30 day refund period. So if you're not happy with uh, what you're seeing within 30 days, you can ask for a refund. And uh, you, so you just enter your name, your first name, last name, billing address, credit card information, of course, right? You gotta enter all those things. So we're showing this to you right now on the screen, the first screenshot, and then the second, frame, the second screenshot. So once you are a member, every single month, you get new stock picks from the monthly full co-founders, Tom and David Garner, along with their team members. And so what are the pros and cons of the monthly full stock advisor? So for the pros, you have uh, expert stock picks, 24 seven monitoring, additional reports, access to previous picks, additional sources, additional uh, resources and tools. This is pretty cool, we love that. And what about the cons? Everyone is getting the same picks you have. So there's no, some, there's no differentiation here. There's no, I would say, um, customization of the service. Of course, you, you, you're not paying that much to get personalized service, so, right? So another negative criterion in our view is that you have to do the work yourself. So you have to make it the investment yourself. No one will make them for you. 
So there's going to be a time lapse from the time you receive the report to the time where you can make the investment, which means that you may have missed the ideal opportunity to purchase the stock. However, the thing is that since um, the monthly full uh, stock advisor is usually, they usually recommend having a five year to 10 year uh, time horizon, whether you buy the stock today or you buy it two weeks from now, it doesn't really matter because in the long run, things will even out anyway, right? So, and another con that we have seen, another positive, another, another, uh, I would say a negative, quote unquote, negative criterion we have seen. Another drawback, that's the better word here. Another drawback about uh, Monthly Fool is uh, the upsell. But they're not the only one. I mean, Profits Unlimited does the same thing. Stock earnings does it even worse. Everybody's trying to upsell you. They, they want you to, they want, they want to suck you in. Excuse the word here, but they just want to suck you in with uh, 30 bucks a month and then sell you like a $200, sell you services worth $200 per month. I'm not going to get into the business model here, but I just want to say that uh, the upsell is, is a little too much. So monthly full, please uh, slow it down. And in terms of cost, let's talk about the cost here. So you can see on the screen here that uh, the monthly full actually, uh, you can get a full, you can get full access to the monthly full for $99 as of now. So. Um, we have right now the pricing on the screen and uh, otherwise you so if you actually sign up for the yearly access you you are receiving a 30-day membership fee uh, membership feedback guarantee so once you pay the $99 you, you can actually um, cancel within 30 days okay if not you just go with the $39 $39 this is uh, the monthly fee the monthly subscription fee and uh, so what are the key features? What are features you might want to pay attention to once you get into the monthly fee stock advisor? You have the, the stock picks, pretty good. You have instant alerts. You have news. You have historical stock picks. You have starter stocks. And we love the fact that they have a great customer service there. So if you have, question, if you have questions about the product itself, they will get back to you, but not investment related questions though. If you have investment related questions, you're not, con you're not contacting customer uh, service. Okay. They have message boards, so we love this uh, feature. This is a, there are tons of investment message boards out there, but uh, the monthly full stack advisor message board is fantastic. We, we have tested it. We, we still test it. It's wonderful. I mean, we, we use it, not test it, but we use it. You, you have stock screener, you have access to more newsletters. So, but that's if you want to pay more because uh, they have a uh, roll your retirement, for example, that will cost you $100, $149 per year. We have rule breakers, which we, we have reviewed on another show that will cost you about $300 per year. We have cloud disruptors, which cost about $2,000 per year. Yeah, that's for the, uh, that's for the biggies here. And um, so we basically, um, who would find the stock, the monthly full stock advisor helpful? You have a constellation of investors who will find it helpful. If you are a fund investor, if you want an investment community, if you're a hedger, if you are an experienced investor who doesn't want to spend a lot of time doing the research, if you don't want to do any kind of stock research at all, you will love uh, the monthly full stock advisor. And who shouldn't use the stock advisor? So if you are a brand new investor, you really need to uh, become a little seasoned before you can use the service. And if you if you want a lot of control about a lot of control on your investments, the monthly full is not for you. And uh, if um, if you cannot invest the same amount a same amount of money every month then it's not good for you so and uh, how does the monthly full uh, stock advisor stack up against its rivals especially a uh, morning star premium we're showing you right now on the screen you can see we have done a little compare and contrast between the monthly full uh, stock advisor and morning star premium you can see that there all right folks this is it for today's conversation let's just quickly uh choose now which service to choose so I've spoken to you about Profits Unlimited, StockEarnings.com, Dividend.com, CNBC Pro, Monthly Full Stock Advisor. It really depends. The choice is up, is up to you. Let's quickly go through the pros and cons so you have an idea of what you should choose. The pros and cons for Profits Unlimited. It's, it's very cheap, digital subscription, excellent performance for the last uh, five years. Losses are typically less than uh, 20% weekly portfolio updates by video and transcript, and they include access to special reports about emerging tech. The cons, weekly updates are too long and only one stock pick per month. Stock earnings, you have a screen upcoming uh, earnings by expected price movements. 
you have uh, they actually uh, provide you with a historical volatility for the past uh, 25 quarters they include uh, Amex listed stocks you have custom watch list with email alerts in terms of cons you have very few utilization very few visualization tools little of a little offer information about price di direction and the platform is difficult to navigate what about dividend.com now dividend.com here you have an easy to remember website okay generous amount of free content and education just for registering they have a doris proprietary metric that provides a solid rating score for investors to help anchor their decision on stock selection you have a constant flow of news blogs and articles can, that can help you uh, improve your knowledge they have nice detailed explanations examples and the step-by-step instructions to implement strategies and you have a convenient one-stop shop for all things dividend related what about the cons now the dividend portfolio investing may become a credit trade and um and you also have the fact that they're not helping investors understand risk analysis in terms of uh how to invest in uh, dividends what about cnbc pro the pros it includes live stream of cnbc broadcast programming live stream of cnbc coverage in europe and asia you have exclusive news stories interviews with fund managers and analysts you have a daily newsletter that highlights the top news the cons it is expensive in terms of annual subscription it really adds a little value if you already have a cnbc stream what about the the, the stock advisor the full stock advisor so you have uh, for the pros you have expert stock picks 24 7 monitoring you have additional reports access to previous picks additional tools and resources what about the cons here the cons everyone is getting the same picks you are you have to do the work yourself and additional upsells so our pick today folks our pick today is the monthly full stock advisor and we have a score of this uh actually we have two picks <laughs> we have monthly full stock advisor and dividend.com dividend.com is pretty cool because you have affordability richness of content and website investor friendliness so our scores monthly full 10 over 10 dividend.com 10 over 10 stock earnings.com 9 over 10 profits unlimited 8.5 over 10 and cnbc pro 7.5 over 10 Thank you so much for your attention, folks. I really appreciate it. I'll see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.